I'm going to show you how the Pole Master works for polar alignment, and I'm going to do this in real time so you can see how it works. The only thing I have running right now is I started PhD2, and that was only so I could connect my telescope with EQ Mod. So I've got that running, and I can see that it's currently parked. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start Pole Master. I'll start the Pole Master app, I'll make it full screen and I'm going to connect to the camera. And I can see that I'm roughly polar aligned. I'm in the right direction. This is gonna be Polaris, it's bright, but it's asking me to set parameters. So I'm gonna go ahead and brighten this up a little bit with exposure and gain so I can see some of the other stars. I'll say finished. Double click Polaris is the next step. So I'm gonna get this as close as I can to perfect. Um, you can get it better than this, but I found that there's no sense in taking way too much time. It's not gonna increase my um, mount's performance dramatically. So once I've identified Polaris, it gives me this template and I'm gonna rotate until I have stars that match the template in each circle. So I have that, I'll click success. I'm not gonna use the previous position. I move my mount every evening, so I'm gonna redo it. I wanna select a star other than Polaris. So what we're gonna to try to do now is identify where our mount is pointing. So I'm gonna select this star down here. It's an easy one to find, and I'm gonna to try to click right on it as good as I can. And now what I'm gonna do is rotate uh, about 30 degrees. Now, rotating around right ascension, if I unpark this, every hour is 15 degrees, and I need to go 30 degrees. So I'm gonna take this from 2145 down to at least 1945. So I'm gonna change the speed and go ahead and rotate in the direction the arrow is telling me to. So again, I wanna to go to at least 1945 and I know at that point I've moved at least 30 degrees. Okay, so now I'm past 30 degrees, so I can say finished, and it wants me to double click the same star. And do it yet again, 1917, so I wanna to go to at least 1717. There we go, that's at least another 30 degrees. Let it settle, click finished, double click the same star. Okay, now what it's done is it's drawn a circle based on the star that I selected. And based on that information, it can find the center of the circle, which is where my mount is currently pointing. It's where my right ascension axis is pointing. This is Polaris. Again, I'm not trying to line these up. I'm trying to find the true celestial North Pole, but this is where I'm currently pointing. So what it wants me to do now is click park and make sure that this star stays on that circle. So as I park this, we can see that star that I've been clicking on is following that line. And if it follows it perfectly or near perfectly, based on how I click that star, I know that this is exactly where my mount is pointing currently. And we can see it is staying on the line. Is it correct? Yeah, absolutely. Now it wants me to double click Polaris again. And it's asking me if I am still aligned in the template. Sometimes you need to adjust this. This looks pretty good, so I'll say, yeah, that's success. I don't need to rotate it. Now it just wants me to move Polaris into this location. You can see I randomly set up my mount, and this is actually pretty good considering that I randomly set it up. So I'm gonna turn my laptop around so that I can see it from the telescope. And what I like to do is put the mouse right here because there's a magnifier up top here. So I'll put the mouse right here so I can see it easily. And this is like an Etch-a-Sketch in that whatever way I turn will probably be wrong. So let's see how this works. Yep, going the wrong way. So I'm gonna move back a little bit. So let's just try it there. I'll probably have to come back a little bit. And now that was azimuth, left, right. And now I'm gonna do altitude and using the adjustment knobs. I'm gonna to try to get it centered in that circle. It 
sometimes these knobs can fight you a little bit. I'll try to get it to the right height here and get it tight at the same time it can be a little tricky. And again, you can get it as perfect as you want. What I found is this is gonna be good enough for me. So you can see I'm right in there pretty close to what it wants me to do. And I'll click finished. Now it wants me to double click Polaris again and see how I'm aligned. Now I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this slightly. It looks like it could have been a little bit better. And you see my template has all the stars in the uh, selected pattern. I'll click success. Now for a precise polar alignment, we click start monitor. And you'll notice over here, the pole is a little higher than my actual axis. So what I can actually do now is using that, I can try to fine tune if I want to. Now, normally, if I'm being honest, I probably would just let that go. Um, generally speaking, it's not worth it to me, especially when my knobs are slipping like they are right now. That's pretty good. I'm going to call it and say that is about as precise as I care to get it. I'm not going to get any more improvement in my guiding. I'll be able to get five minute subs, no problem. So I'll go ahead and say finished. And I am done. We are now polar aligned. I can exit and I can move on to whatever imaging I want to do. So you can see how quick that was. That was real time. That is the reason that I put pole masters on most of my mounts, uh, especially when there's an adapter and it's easy to do. If you want to leave me any questions, certainly drop them in the comments. Um, if you have any special requests for other things you'd like to see me do or something you want to understand a little bit better, certainly drop a comment on that as well. As always, like and subscribe and hope to see you back here soon. Have a great night.